Josh, what's this week like for you, for your family? You're, you're getting ready for the final, you know, to wrap up spring and yeah. also pro day with everything going on. What's what's this week like for you? Um, you know, I guess you could put it as just fun and exciting. Um, I think we're just kind of enjoying the whole process. You could say it's all like stressful and I mean, you're finally going to get a break, but I'm just having fun this spring ball, um, learning, and obviously Zach. I just see him working hard and stuff, so it's it's going to be excited to, or exciting to see him throw and all that this um, pro day and all that. So I think it's just a real exciting week and all that. So um, yeah, I'm just having fun with it. You knew that your brother's really talented, obviously, for a long yeah. time, but to see him being talked about as a top two, top three top four pick in the NFL draft and all the attention he's getting. What's that like watching it as, as his brother as he's going through all this? Um, you know, it's it's really cool. I mean, knowing him my whole life, obviously, I can I can say that I, I expect no less. Um, he's always been the top of everything. He's always been, he's always put himself as just, he's always believed in himself. So I just think he works harder than a lot of people and stuff. So, I mean, I expect nothing less and I'm excited for him. And it's really cool just seeing all this um, finally come together because he's gone through a lot with it and I'm, I'm glad he's finally getting what's what all that hard work is. Um, it's fi- He's finally getting it all paid off, you know. All right, Mitch and then Jay. Yeah, Josh, uh, last season, how would you describe and assess how your first year in the program was? Um, obviously, it was my first year. Um, I was just honestly getting comfortable, trying to figure everything out. Um, it was awesome because, I mean, I don't know if it would have been the same any other way, but I, pl- I got to play a lot. I got to kind of figure things out. I got to get a good feel for college football. So I think it was it was good. Um, obviously, I learned a lot. Um, things weren't perfect, but, I mean, that's how you grow. So I think it was it was a good experience, and I'm glad that it went that way. Lonnie just gave you some uh, some praise about your play in spring. What's maybe changed now for you and in spring ball, and how's maybe the pace and speed of the game coming to you now as being in spring with a year under your belt? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I I didn't think it would change that much, but um, I've actually, I mean, I've seen a lot of growth for myself, and I think it's just um, being more comfortable. Um, I know the guys; um, they're all my my friends now. Um, the playbook has just come easier. Um, everything I think I've just gotten smarter and when I'm when I feel like I'm knowing all the plays and all that I can play better because I'm just more comfortable so I think it's just comfort just being here longer um just uh, yeah I mean that's that's the main thing hey Josh sorry to ask you all these questions about your brother no you're good kind of a different I'd hate talking about my brother but um (laughs) I love but it. Since we have access to you, can, can you give us the nuts and bolts of this week? When did Zach get back from California? What's he been doing? Has he been staying down there in Provo with you or up with other folks? It's kind of uh, his itinerary the last little while. Yeah, so Zach got home, I want to say, on Tuesday. And he, yeah, he just flew in last Tuesday. And then he's been hanging out with the family, but he's, he's obviously been training and still working hard. And, um, I I went and hung out with him this weekend. So um, no, he's just he's just grinding and stuff. Um, every day he's getting up, meetings, um, working out, throwing. So I mean, it's it's obviously busy for him, but he's he's enjoying it. I mean, football is what he loves. So I mean, he wouldn't have it any other way. He's he's just having a lot of fun. So I got to hang out with him a little bit. We can. I don't know. We just went. We can go shopping. We we go to rehab. Whatever. We just hang out and talk because it's been a minute. Because I don't get to see him a lot just because of this whole thing. You go shopping at the Porsche dealership? (laughs) No, I mean unless he wants to buy me one, but I don't know if he's gonna do that. But no. Thanks, Josh. Hey, let's go. Last two questions: Jared Lloyd and Rich Harper. Josh Colony said that the uh, linebacking group is one of the most solidified with the experience there and, and you know the way you guys rotate. He said the two deep, the three deep, he, he feels really confident with the with the linebackers. What have you seen from that unit here in spring? No, yeah, the linebackers are all really good athletes. Um, 
like you said, uh, Peyton and Keenan, um, Max, all those guys that have just had a lot of playing time, they're, they're really good, and it's, honest, it's just good for me to sit back and learn from those guys. Um, they're all studs, and they love helping out. So, yeah, the linebacking core is really strong. Um, I'd say the three deep is there, everyone trusts them and stuff, so when, you go, when they all go in, um, you can't really tell a difference. But, yeah, um, we've just we've, we've had a lot of different rotations and stuff, so we're kind of just getting a feel with how it would be against the, uh, the starting offense and the, the second string. So you're kind of just getting a lot of different feels. So, yeah, it's been – it's been pretty good. The other thing I was going to just mention, really ask really quick, Kalani also mentioned that he wants lots of players from BYU to go on to the NFL this year, having a chance to have multiple players drafted and get opportunities like that. What does that do for you and for your teammates as you see this process work and, and guys making that transition? Oh, no, it means the world. It just means that he cares and he cares about our dreams and stuff. So, um no, I love that he um, cares about that and pushes it so hard um, because obviously I'm going to take it a little slower just because I'm so young and stuff. I'm going to make many goals for me and work on starting and all that first. But, no, it's awesome for my future because obviously I would like to go on and play one day if I could. But, um, no, I, I appreciate that a lot from him, and he's awesome. Josh, what spot are you competing at in that linebacker room? Um, they – I mean, I've I've learned all of them because they just want me to know everything. But I've been playing mostly Mike, just what they've always had me do. Um, it's probably where I've just I don't know. That's what they always say I'm a true Mike. So um, I've I've just been running most of my reps there. But we got to know everything, and I think that's what's helped me become comfortable is just knowing everything around me. Um, and if anyone goes down, then I can jump in and play that spot too. So mainly Mike, but every all the positions too. How has Coach Clune been? Uh, we've, we've heard a lot that he's a high-energy guy, a lot of knowledge. What, what can you tell us about how Clune handles your guys' room and maybe his personality on the practice field? No, yeah, he's awesome. He's a he's a he's definitely a, a, a good <laughs> a goofball. He, he's always messing around with us, and he's created a good relationship with us. And um, he hasn't been here long, but he's he's been a good coach, and he's just super smart. Um, He's always uh, trying to figure out ways for us to be better and all that. So we, he's huge on watching film and breaking things down, footwork, and just being real, like a real smart football player. So, yeah, no, he's been, uh, he's been awesome um, just helping us out and all that.